welcome back to House of Games. Lovely to have you back. And what a great day we had yesterday. Four famous faces joining me in the studio. One of them is winning the trophy on Friday. Now, listen, I'm not saying they're a special bunch, but there's only four of them. And between them, they've sold 22 million records. <laughs> Can you believe it? Our four players this week are Sir Chris Hoy. Hello. Rosie Jones. Oda Labib. And Ian H. Watkins. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Rosie. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. It was so close yesterday until the final round where you just you drove off into the distance. How do you feel about your win? Incredibly joyful. <laughs> and and so happy because everyone but especially H is already incredibly angry oh, with furious. me. <laughs> And I feel like to get to a point in society <laughs> where three non-disabled people want to beat the disabled <laughs> one. But we did it. This, you did it. This is equality. You did it. Power, sister. Yeah. Power. You did it. H. 22 million records. I know you're responsible for almost all of those. You had, you had number one albums in four different decades. Yeah, that's quite cool, right? That's crazy. Subtext, we're really old. <laughs> <laughs> no, subtext, you're loaded. <laughs> we did OK. Um, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard. Rosie is a top it. Then Chris, then H, then Ola. Chris, should we take a look at today's prizes? Mm, Rosie yesterday won uh, fondue set. And uh, she was pretty happy about yeah. it. Today you could win one of these. Ooh. There's a cool box. There's a watering can, a yo-yo. There's a flask, I guess, or a dartboard. What do you reckon, Sir Chris? I'm drawn to the dartboard, I think, or yeah. maybe the yo-yo, but I think the dartboard's more impressive. Do you yeah, know what? I think, I think a dartboard is more impressive yeah, than a yo-yo. I think that's, that's more... Or my cup of tea. That yo-yo has got finding it in a drawer in seven years' time <laughs> written all over it, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, Rosie, what would you go for? Uh, it won't surprise you that I name all my plants okay. in my house. Yeah. And when I am feeding Catherine, Graham, Delilah and Troy, Whoa. I want to be thinking of you. That's so nice. So I'll have the can. Ola, what would you go for if you won today? I think I'd take the, um, what's that thing, a cooling box? Are they cooling? Oh, a nice cool box. box, yeah. A nice box. Each, what would you go for? I'm going to go for the child-friendly option because my kids love yo-yos. Oh, great. Lovely. Let's play Tuesday's House of Games, shall we? Good win for Rosie yesterday. Who's going to take Tuesday's title? Let's find out. Our first round is... Correction Centre. Chris, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to read you an incorrect statement. If you change one word, you'll make it a correct statement. OK? OK. So tell me which word you need to change here and what to. In the Peanuts comic strip, Snoopy appears alongside his little feathered friend Woodstock and his owner, Gordon Brown. Um, is it Charlie instead of Gordon? So change Gordon to Charlie? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I Absolutely. Can. You see how it works? Mm. I love it. Ola and H both at the same time working out what the round is. <laughs> <laughs> what day it is, really. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Rosie, I have an incorrect statement for you. In the name of the world famous motorbike races on the Isle of Man, TT stands for tourist trap. I know it's either tourist or trap. <laughs> I can't think of another word that begins with T. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thomas. Um, Should we time you out, Rosie? Yeah. Don't know. Any, anyone else fancy a go? Chris, do you know that one? Do you know, I always thought TT was for time trial. I love man, but it's obviously not. It is not. No idea. So, Teddy, it's the tourist trophy, the TTs. <sighs> the I was trophy. Not, got one. That was a tricky one. Yeah. Uh, Ola, I have one for you. An incorrect statement. Each year, celebrities flock to the Met Office wearing outrageous outfits to raise funds for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. 
What? Each year, celebrities flock the Met Office. It's the Met Gala. So we change office to gala? Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> I like the very brief moment between having absolutely no idea <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, and then knowing it. H. Hit me with it. I have an I will do. An incorrect <laughs> statement. Change one word and it'll become correct. One of David Bowie's most famous albums was The Rise and Fall of Alvin Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Uh, most famous albums was The Rise and Fall of Alvin Stardust. Was it? Well, don't forget this is... Well, it's incorrect. Is your... <laughs> <laughs> I thought after the first question you had worked out what the round was. Now I, I see well, that we're still working Ziggy on it. Ziggy Stardust, right, was okay. his alter ego. So we change Alvin Should to Ziggy? Should we try that one? Change Alvin to Ziggy? Absolutely right. Oh! I, the and the spiders from I went to the chipmunks because of my kids. <laughs> OK. I <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, Chris, back to you. Another incorrect statement. Those of us who were around in the 90s remember laughing along to the anarchic antics of Pat Sharp's Bleak House. <laughs> no idea. Ah, uh, something house. Is it f Fun House? Change Bleak to Fun. Bleak to Fun. Absolutely right. Pat Sharp's Fun House. Rosie, I have a, an incorrect statement for you, hopefully slightly easier than your last one. A problem solver and voice of reason, Christopher Wren faced many challenges in the woods with poo. Yeah, I love that. Say a Christopher Robin. Change Wren to Robin? Yeah. Change the bird? Absolutely right. Wren to Robin, Christopher Robin. Point to Rosie Ola. Uh -oh. Another one for you. Field events in the Olympic decathlon include the long jump, pole dance and shot put. Long jump? Isn't it a pole jump as well? Isn't it a pole jump when you have that pole and then you run and then you jump over that I don't know what barrier thing? So you want to change dance to jump? Is that correct? <laughs> if it's not, anyone can buzz in if you know it. Sir Chris. Pole vault. Pole vault. Oh, vault. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely, pole dance becomes pole vault. Final question of the round goes to H. Most cargo pants are eight feet wide and either 20 or 40 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> cargo pants? It's cargo. Cargo pants are eight feet wide. <laughs> oh. Have you got it? I think so. I can work out what they mean. I don't know what the word, what the specific word yeah. would be. I don't get it. Most cargo pants? Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know. I can't... Nope, we'll time you up. So give up. a buzzer race on our hands. Sir so Chris wins it. A boat? I'm not going to give you both. Marge. No, no. Uh, Rosie? Ship. No, it is not a no. ship either. Hola. Change pants to container. Cargo container is what we're looking for. Oh, Absolutely yeah. right. Most cargo containers are eight feet wide. Well played, Ola. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, that's the end of our first round. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard, shall we? H and Rosie, you have one point each. Ola, you got two. Our early leader, Sir Chris Hoy, he's got three points. <laughs> I'm sorry that I occasionally call you Sir Chris. It's just nice, right? Well, it, call me whatever you like. I've been well, called I was worse. Say, I've been called I, worse. Yeah, exactly. And I will point out he has not asked me to call him Sir Chris. <laughs> I just think sometimes... <laughs> I've demanded it. Sometimes it's nice to do, isn't it? Um, let's play a pairs game. What's it going to be? <laughs> Great minds link alike. Rosie and H, you're tied for third. Rosie, why don't you choose a partner? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> I didn't want you yesterday, but you're doing well, so... <coughs> <coughs> well, just because you want me... No! <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> oh, wow. So, Rosie and Chris, you're a team. Ola and H, you're a team. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to um, show you the names of three films. OK? But I've missed out a word, right? You have to buzz in and tell me what links the words that I've missed out, OK? The link. Your partner will then have to give me the answers. Huh? What links the three words we've missed out here? Blank men and a baby, blank years in Tibet, and blank weeks notice. Yes, Chris? A number? Numbers is the link. Rosie, for a point for your team, can you tell me the three numbers that are missed out? Oh, no! <laughs> 
A three men and a baby. You can get three men and a baby. Ten. Ten years in Tibet. And about two weeks. And two weeks notice. Have you got the three correct answers? You have not. Oh, yeah. I can pass it over to the other team. Can you give me the three answers? Oh. Yes. So we think. Three men and a baby. Okay. Second one is um, Brad Pitt's Seven Years in Tibet. Okay. But this is a tricky one, the third one. It's either two or four, I think. <laughs> I don't know that film. Should we go two weeks notice? Your choice. <laughs> okay, let's go two weeks. Okay, two. I mean, Rosie sounded fairly certain when she just said two weeks notice. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I honestly, yeah. I, was, I was too busy concentrating on the. Okay, two weeks notice. So we think three, seven, two. Absolutely oh, right. Oh, hey. Seven, it was a group two. effort, but we stole the points. Yeah, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone did well, but yeah, you're the only two with points. <laughs> yeah. um, next films, what connects these three missing words? Blank Leaves, 500 Days of Blank, and Captain America, The Blank Soldier. <laughs> yes, Rosie. Seasons. Seasons is correct. Chris, for the point, can you name those three seasons? These are all guesses. I'm guessing Autumn Leaves, 500 Days of Summer, Winter Soldier. So you're going to go Autumn, three, three guesses, Summer, really. Winter, is that correct? That's how you guess. Ah, well yeah. done. Nicely done. Autumn Leaves, 500 you buzzed Days that. of Summer. I thought, oh, no, I'm yeah. going to have to get this right now. And the Winter Soldier. Well done if you got that at home. Next one, what connects these three blanks? Duck Blank, Mystic Blank and Cloudy with a Chance of Blank. Yes, Rosie. Food. Food is right. Chris, for the point, can you fill in those three oh, blanks? The pressure here again, Rosie. Oh, yeah, I know this. Uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Mystic pizza. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's an old one. Duck. Soup. Soup, pizza, meatballs. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And nutritious. Oh. The point with Chris and Rosie. Well played. I wouldn't have got soup. I wouldn't have got soup. Next one. What connects these, please? Blank Day Afternoon, The Princess and the Blank, and Jojo Blank. Chris. Animals. Animals ah, is correct. Yes. Rosie, for the point, can you name the three animals? Dog Day Afternoon, The Princess and the Frog. Jojo jo, Rabbit. Dog Frog Rabbit? It is Dog Frog Rabbit. Oh, nice that's done. Good I teamwork. Had no idea. We had a strong start, come on. Final question in this round. Let's have a strong finish as well. What links these three blanks? The Blank Shoes, Fried Blank, Tomatoes at the Worcester Stop Cafe, and Blank Valentine. Yes, H. Colours. They are colours, absolutely. Oh, Ola, for the have, point, what colours? We shouldn't have buzzed. Um, okay. Colours. So, the red shoes... Oh, no, oh, Ola, I have to answer no. it. Oh, sorry. To give the, uh... <laughs> but you knew that, anyway. I was going to say the red shoe, anyways. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but if that's red, then aren't tomatoes red? Fried? Mm -hmm. Something tomatoes at the Whistle Shop Cafe? What? <coughs> 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 Oh, I know this one. It's the fried mm. green tomatoes <laughs> at the Whistle Come Shop on. Cafe. Oh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> and... yeah, like, like he knows the last one. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, this is true. OK, there's something Valentine. Well, it can't... Well, if I go by my dating life, I'm going to go for the black Valentine. Red, green, black? Is that right? It is the incorrect, I'm afraid. Chris and Rosie, do you want to buzz in? <laughs> Rosie. Red shoes. Mm -hmm. Fried green tomatoes. Blue. Blue, that's what I was going to say. But I don't know. Yeah, if blue. It makes sense. So we've gone red, green, blue. <laughs> Bang on. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, absolutely oh, right. Well uh, it's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what it's done to our scoreboards. H has two, Ola has three, Rosie's got five, out in the lead. Chris Hoy, seven points. Well done, Chris. Well done, Chris. How about that? Paired up with the champ here, that's, how, that's why it's working. They call him the thinking man's Matthew Pinson. <laughs> <laughs> three rounds to go. Let's see what we got next.
It's all in the name. All of the answers in this round are in the letters of your names. You get a point for a correct answer. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. If you get one based on your own name, you get two points. So the answers to the first few questions will be somewhere in the letters of Chris Hoy. I can't believe they didn't use Sir to give them some more letters. <laughs> yeah, this is easier, though. So two points for Chris or one point for anyone else if you can answer this question. Two words preceding silver lining in the title of a 1967 UK Top 40 hit by Jeff Beck. That is H. Hi-ho. Hi-ho? It is hi-ho. Well done. Hi-ho, silver lining. In the letters of Chris Hoy there. Next one. Type of singing group formed by Gareth Malone in a 2006 BBC TV series. Yes, H. Choir. Choir? Bang on. Good oh. round for H so far. Yeah, come on. Oh, let's oh, have it. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosie, the next two are in the letters of your name, so two yeah. points if you can get one of them. So, Rosie Jones, here's your first one. Nickname for the Loch Ness Monster. That is Chris. Nessie. Nessie? It is Nessie. Well done. Next one. Geological process in which earthen materials are worn away by natural forces. That is Chris. Oh, I got it wrong. Um, erosion. Erosion. Oh, it is erosion. Oh. You got erosion in your name. Oh, How about that? What a thing to have in your name. Uh, Ola. The next two are in Ola Labib. Two points for you if you can get one of these. One point for anyone else. First name of the character played by Martin Freeman in the 2012 film The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Yes, Rosie. Bilbo. Bilbo? Oh, well done. It is Bilbo, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one. Spanish city that is home to a branch of the Guggenheim Museum. <laughs> that is Chris. Bilbo. Bilbao? Yeah. It is Bilbao. And I assume we're not just going to have the letter H here, otherwise it's going to be a very short round. <laughs> uh, so Ian, H Watkins. They've given okay. themselves the H, though. <laughs> just, as a, just a bit of extra. Shall we, yeah. Um, so two points H if you can get one of these, one point for anyone else. The chemical symbol for hydrogen. That is Chris. H. H. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. That is H. Uh, and the final question. U.S. state with the capital Honolulu. That's Chris. Hawaii. Wow, it doesn't look like Hawaii is in there, is it? Yeah. It is. Hawaii is in there. Chris, an amazing round for you there. Terrific stuff. Uh, let's take a look at our leaderboard. Two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games. Oh. Rosie was our champion on Monday. But look at that, Chris Hoy. 12 points, six-point lead. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, that deserves a clap. Come I'll on. tell you what, what can they change. Six, a lot can six change. Six points, two rounds. What's the, what's the worst lead you've ever given away in a, in a cycling race? I sat up a lap early <gasps> in a race once. No. Yeah, I've done that. So, oh, uh, yeah, God. taking nothing for granted tonight. Yeah. That's for sure. He's not sitting up a lap early now. <laughs> yeah. Say that. He's got two rounds to go. He knows that. Round four is... There's no I in Osman. Uh, if you all stand up, please. I have a job for you. I have a category I need answers in. And your first one is this. I need you to name any word in an Indiana Jones film title which does not contain the letter I. That's all the films up to the, uh, the most recent one, if that's of any use. Uh, Chris, so any word in any Indiana Jones film title which doesn't contain the letter I. Any word. Yeah. Arc. Arc. <laughs> Lovely. Rosie. Doom. Doom, yeah, correct, Ola. Cave. Cave. Not, I'm afraid. Uh, H. Temple. Temple. Oh, Temple of Doom, not Cave of Doom. It is <laughs> Cave of Doom. I'd watch the Cave of Doom, though. I'd like to watch that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, Chris. Of. Of. Oh, nice. Rosie. Skull. Skull. Oh, you guys are good. H. The. The? Sweet. Uh, Chris. And? And? <laughs> Rosie. Crystal. Crystal? H, what do you fancy? Lost. Oh, nice. Lost. 
Chris. This is getting trickier, isn't it? Yeah. Crusade. Oh, Crusade is absolutely right, Rosie. Last. Last. <laughs> Crusade doing a lot of heavy lifting yeah. for you there. <laughs> it's correct. And that, for the first time ever, is every single possible answer. You all get yourself a point. Good well done. <laughs> How about that? Because I was about to be out. Yeah. But, well, yeah. well, understandably, because there are no other answers. Yeah. Uh, well done. Goodness me, every single possible answer you got very well played. Should we do another one? Yeah. See if this may be less successful. <laughs> Let's find out. The next thing I'm looking for, if you stand up for me, please. Uh, we're looking for any county championship cricket team. Oh. oh, I don't even know any. Which does not have a Y in its name. And, Rosie, we will start with you. Lancashire. Lancashire? Absolutely. Oh! oh no. I'm just going to name County yeah. Hampshire. Hampshire? Absolutely. Well done. I don't H. know. Uh... Oh, my gosh. Glamorgan. Glamorgan? Absolutely oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an answer given quite so well. Glamorgan. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Chris. Sussex. Sussex. Good old Sussex by the sea. Absolutely. Rosie. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? <laughs> Absolutely. Ola. I really don't want to look stupid on TV, but no. is Dorset a county? It is a county. Not a county championship cricket team, oh, though. I don't know. Uh, H. Henlow. Henlow? I don't know. Who knows? Henlow? No way. It is not. Predictable. Um, Chris. Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire? Correct. Rosie. Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire? They are not. Oh. I'm afraid, Chris, you get yourself another point. Well done, as if you needed well one. Uh, the other answers you could have given. Durham, Essex, Kent, Leicestershire. Well done if you said any of these at home. Middlesex, Northamptonshire, Nottinghamshire, Somerset or Warwickshire. Final question this round, so you'll stand up one more time. Why not? Why not? Now we are looking for... Countries that competed in the 2023 Grand Final of the Eurovision Song Contest. That's yeah, not the semi-finals, it's the, uh, you know the bit I mean. The actual... But, yeah, exactly. But we do not have the letter U in their names. Ola, we will start with you. France. France. Absolutely. H. Ireland. Ireland. Got knocked, out, didn't the, knocked out in the semi-finals, unfortunately, Ireland. <sighs> so if you take a seat, Chris. Germany. Germany. Correct. Rosie. Spain. Spain. Correct. Ola. Italy. Italy. Is Italy, Chris? Czechia. Czechia? Correct, Rosie. Sweden. Sweden? They won it. Correct, Ola. Switzerland. Switzerland? Correct, Chris. Norway. Norway? Correct. Blimey, yes, Rosie. Finland. Finland? Correct, Ola. Hey, okay. Iceland. Iceland? <gasps> Not in the final, Iceland, unfortunately. That's a shame, knocked out in the semi-final. And then there were two, Chris. Netherlands. Netherlands? They were knocked out as well. Rosie, you get the final point for the round. <laughs> that was really good work, everybody. Should we see uh, what was left out? We could have had uh, Albania, Armenia, Croatia, Estonia, Israel. Moldova, Poland, Serbia and Slovenia. Very well done if you said any of those at home. That's the end of the round. One round to go before we give away Tuesday's prize. Rosie was our champion yesterday. Who's going to be our champion today? He had a six-point lead with two rounds to go. He's got a six-point lead with one round to go. I mean, that really would be hard to give up. <laughs> oh, doable. Oh, jinx me. It's looking good for Chris Hoy at the moment. Shall we do it? Let's play. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Six point lead for Sir Chris Hoy. Your first category is casual clothing. Those will be the pictures. What three word phrase is traditionally used to wish an actor good luck? Yes, Chris. <laughs> Breaker leggings. It is. Break a leg and leggings, break a leggings. 
Next clue, next picture. In the title of a hit 1991 film, the name of which legendary figure precedes Prince of Thieves? Yes, Rosie. Robin Hoodie. Robin Hoodie? <laughs> There's Robin Hood and Hoodie. That's Robin good. Hoodie. Next clue, next casual clothing. What name is used to refer to any plane that has the serving US president on board? Yes, Rosie. Air Force Onesie. Air Force Onesie? Ah, I, I, knew that one. <laughs> I would watch a film called Air Force Onesie. <laughs> yeah. uh, your next category is. Fish. <laughs> fish. What is the name of the alter ego of comedian Lee Francis, who started hosting Celebrity Juice in 2008? <laughs> yes, that's Rosie. Keep lemon fish. It is not. You lose a point, Chris. Keith Lemon Soul. Keith Lemon oh. Soul. You would think so, wouldn't you? It is Keith Lemon yeah, Soul. Yeah. Like the idea that anyone recognised it from the fish. <laughs> oh, that's that's a lemon soul. Yeah. Um, next clue. Next fish. Which single that was released in 1995 was the second UK number one hit for Shaggy? <laughs> yes, Ola. Angel Fish. Incorrect, I'm afraid. H. Mr. Bombasticleback. Is it Mr. Bombasticleback? <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Bombasticleback, Bombasticleback. <laughs> but I'm, I'll give you Mr. Bombasticleback. Very well done if you got that at home as well. Uh, next question, next fish. In 2021, which comedian presented the topical TV show Late Night Mash? Rosie's going for it. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. That's a good reaction to buzzing no. in. No. I like somebody who buzzes no. in and goes, no, oh, no. No. You, no. you lose a point, I'm afraid, Rosie. A very good friend of yours. Uh, yeah. yeah. We were looking for Nish Kumarlin, is what we were looking for. Next one. <laughs> there are no more. Well done, everyone. It feels like... Chris has got it. Does it not? Really? Uh, let's find out, <laughs> shall we? Our champion on Tuesday, the first knight of the realm, also to be a House of Games champion, Sir Chris Hoy. Well played, Chris. Well, 16 Chris points. Those guys. Look at that. Um, Chris, you've won a prize. Which of these would you like? Oh, the dartboard, please. Dartboard. Yeah. Sir Chris Love Hoy. It. Chris Hoy wins the dartboard. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboards. See how we stand after two days. Chris and Rosie up the top there with seven Ooh. points each, four and two, three days to go. They've got double points Friday to come as well. So all to play for. I look forward to seeing you all again here tomorrow. That'll be a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you here as well on the House of Games. Someone's going to be like, what, what on earth yeah. is this? What is this really the heavy round? Really heavy, isn't it? Yeah. He's going to think, wow, that's a big medal you've won this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you get a ribbon, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Just dangle it <laughs> in my neck. <laughs> Thank you.